I smurfed in diamond to prove it's not luck. I am a peak grand champ three. On my team is a platinum two and the opponents are two diamonds. Don't worry, this is a private lobby. I am smurfing in a staged environment solely for your benefit. So if you're watching in platinum, diamond, or below, this video is for you. I hope you enjoy it. We're not gonna speed flip or anything because I don't wanna, I don't wanna hear it in the comments. So front flips. Nice kickoff, Luke. Oh, I thought I thought we would have just lost it. He's not challenging me, so I can kind of turn around. This is gonna be awkward for my teammate. I want to help him, but um, you know, we're just gonna start. We're gonna start da down one. That's my bad. I left my teammate back alone, so that's gonna be tough. Uh, he misses a kickoff, so I'm just gonna wait back post here, right? And that allows uh, and that allows the save to be pretty easy. Solmer misses the open, but it was a good try. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> I should have had more faith. I should have had more faith. So here we're just gonna shadow, get one touch over. This guy looks awkward, so oh, I missed the demo. I wanted to pick up a demo and then go for a shot, but Solmer is on it. Uh, so when my teammates committed like this, I almost always just opt to play half. This happens to everybody, right? You miss boost, blah, 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 boom, you miss here. What should you do now that it's all been said and done? What do you think I'm gonna recommend? Get back. Yeah, exactly, get back. Quite frankly, if you would have just exited the play immediately here, Boom, you leave right now. You're picking up pads. And then by the time we get here, instead of you stalling there, I would have been the one shadowing this whole way and you'd be back on 100 right now. Solmer is, I think he's forcing, um, which is nice, but it, it doesn't do all that much. So I'd just rather play wide. Um, I'm gonna have time here. Oh, he got nice I, I wanted to go for like a bounce dribble here, but he... No, I went for the boost. That's on me. We'll get 1-1. One, one. Uh, and I'm going to cheat up on kickoffs. Cheat up means position close to this 50-50 because you always want ball possession after. Uh, exhibit A. Oh, almost. So I'm just going to hit this high and probably rotate out here. Like, I can force, but I don't like being... Like, if I know I'm playing at a rank disadvantage, like, I don't like being the guy up there. Just get one touch to make sure I hit it around. Check on my camera to see where the other is. And I'm gonna play this high and slow. That way I can rotate out. Even if my teammate misses, which you know they often will if they're lower rated, by hitting it high, I at the very least allow myself time. You played one. I'm about to be in his video now. Smoke's kind of guarding him, and now we can go for a bounce triple. Tap, tap, and go for a shot. I missed the shot. But Solmer cleans it up very well. But that's why bounce dribbles are good, right? Um, and a couple things I want to highlight there. Obviously, the the miss is it's not great, but uh, you want you always want to side flip, right? So you can rotate out faster. And you know, even when that situation goes bad, like you know, let's say I don't score it, is what I mean to say. I'm not gonna doomsy that in. I want to let my teammate go. Um, it's still not you know terrible because by bo bounce dribbling doesn't commit you. Here, I could go for a shot, but, um, you know, I figured that would be more fun for the video. So I did that instead. When you do find yourself awkward, a great rule on defense is I'm awkward. I don't know where to go. I'm just going to pick a post and then you face one way because then at least your car is covering the net and you have access to the backboard if you need it versus when you go middle, you don't know which way is forward, which way is back. And honestly, the worst part of it is this whole backboard is just uncovered and a good player is just gonna do what i did really you'll start to get punished if you don't pick this up and champ so if you learn it now you're ahead of the curve uh i'm just gonna jump to get a good 50 and try to boost back <laughs> this guy missed boost that's terrible he just caught me lacking and stole that boost I think. here we're just waiting back right teammate does a great job of splitting it up i'm checking on my camera i know he was low boost right so that's how i kind of know there i can cut it in Pop it over. Oh my! That guy came in swinging like Tarzan. I did not expect him. All the way back here. Well, Brad hits it up. And if I just position my shot well. <laughs> my shot, look. <laughs> Solmer's literally cleaning up. Uh, cut that out. Cut that out. You know, that, that was a grand champ one shot. Come on, give me some credit, guys. Looking at these videos and then actually being in one, it's so like just playing against a GC takes your rank down. It's crazy. Look, he's not ready for this mid. Take him, take him. And now we should have ball here. It looks like he's back passing. Um, unfortunately, the back pass was not hard enough. If your teammate's all the way back at your back boost, you got to flip into that more. That actually kind of just bounce dribbled for me. So that'll lead to a fifth goal. We'll cheat up. 
Um, and it's fine for me to take boost here, even if Solmer is and I are same rank. I almost always recommend you take boost. I'm just gonna hit it high there, right? So that Solmer can come score. score. And I'm, I'm making a soft touch there, right? You don't wanna recenter that fast. Once I know that I have him obviously beat, you wanna make the weakest possible center to give your team at the easiest time. We'll go back here. And since they're not going, I'm just gonna get one touch to the side, right? And then we can get a hard touch over. Since nobody's going, I'm just gonna continue to fly at this. I'm not gonna like air dribble it, but you know, you just wanna get that ball over the midfield and ensure it's going through. Jump, not commit into the shot. Solmer should have this, so I'm just gonna make a soft touch for him, guide it into the corner. That allows him to go if he wants. Nice. Now we're gonna watch this guy. It looks like he probably wants this boost. No, he does not boost, boost greed, which means we can get it. He, he looks like he might wanna hit it to the side. There's a lot of chaos going here, so when, once again, when there's chaos, you wait back. See, this is where I was trying to do the unexpected. I was like, he's not gonna ever guess that I would buck my player and take the shot. <laughs> at least once a game, you'll have these moments where the ball kind of slows down and like nobody knows what's going on. My rule is whenever there's chaos, I exit the chaos. If you ever see this in your lobbies, like please, I wish I had somebody when I was younger ranked that just told me permission to not enter those kind of plays. Like you can just keep your distance. Cut here, wait, 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 wait. Cut last second and then maybe go for a shot. It's tough to get an angle there, but mostly I'm just focused on making sure I get the beat. Here, I'm just trying to force a flick for my teammate, and even a plat can save that. Nice one, Solmer. He doesn't have the aerial consistency, but you should still force flicks for your teammate in that same way, in most cases. It, that's just that's just a twos thing, right? Play back, he's gonna make a soft touch to me, and I'm gonna start a bounce dribble on an angle, right? Touch it to the side, touch it to the side, and then try to go for a shot. Not the best control from me, but when I do get sp when you do get space, you, you wanna make controlled plays like that. And flicks generally aren't as good if there's, you know, two defenders back, because as we saw, if the one just forces high, it makes it pretty hard for the other. So this guy is challenging in a when I'm closer to the ball, which is, which is interesting. We're, here we're just playing back, right? Allow Solmer to be first up. Unfortunately, we get bumped there. Almost leads to a goal. I love the idea. Number one, you probably don't even need to shoot this. Like you could just dribble it in. Your arrow, jump. You don't need to arrow past this point. So I should have jumped later and then done that. Like jump later and arrow less. Make a controlled touch and nobody's on me. Thought that would lead to a goal, but it doesn't quite. Here, when I see my teammate go back to the corner, I'm gonna get in the way. So that way we stagger our defense. And that should be a game two. Let's see if we can score it. Solmar, no! Bad manners. It's okay, he's plat, he gets a pass. Now, before we get into game two, I have something very important to tell you. But at the same time, my own teammate and the diamonds are going to try to demo me. They get $20 each time. And I have to go until I finish this plug. Starting now. Okay, if you didn't know, all three of these players are from the free Discord. And this video is sponsored by the Grand Champ Bootcamp, the largest live coaching program in Rocket League that takes people, you know, just like the guys here that you see chasing me. Ah, <laughs> no, they got me. Up to Grand Champ in 12 weeks time. So uh, joining the Discord is not only a good way to get a spot in future videos, but it's also a great place to <laughs> can't do this. This is so... Night Sky, no! This is, this is this is hard, actually, because not... Oh, great spawn, great spawn. Okay, we're back. But it's also a great chance to work with a pro for 12 weeks who actually cares about your improvement. This is true. Okay. So, if you're plat through champ like these guys, and you're sick of being hard stuck, this is true, and you want to get off YouTube, oh, this is so hard. Click the first thing in the bio and DM our coaching sponsor with keyword boom for info on coaching. The final one, me and Solmer here to seal the deal and prove that it is possible to win down rank. This ball's gonna go here. I'm assuming he's going for my corner boost. I thought he would go for my corner boost, so I was prepared to take that ball. I see this guy turning at the midfield, so I'll boom it. If that's on net, it's actually much better. And here I'm just gonna drive challenge through. That way I don't commit and I can rotate back out if I want to. Solmer is kind of shutting them down here. Uh, I'm not sure who got boost. I think he did. So I'm going to move forward here. Try to be there for a center. It looks like he has this ball, right? So I'm not committing, especially when I'm up. And if Solmer wants to stay same side, that's fine. That means I'm going to get opposite side. And that'll just pinch right in. 
top right. <laughs> wow, what a pinch my soul. Dang. New title's about to be uh, Luke's Poop gets carried by Platt. <laughs> In before Solmer is a Smurf comments. Paul's gonna go to the right. He's gonna have half boost, so I'll go back. Uh, their guy does not take half boost, so I can clear. And now I can keep rotating through and look for demos. I don't quite get the demo, but I'll just keep rotating around. But good things happen. I'm just gonna hit this ball hard and hope for good. Doesn't quite work, but able to get a demo and can hopefully turn this into a pull. Oh, I thought I barred out. <laughs> Whoa, my God. He is accurate. Rotating through the play, it's something that uh, these diamonds don't seem to be ready for. You know, they kind of just sit in the middle and are, and are quite awkward on defense a lot. Uh, even though I'm no boost, I'm gonna stay here, right, to apply pressure because it's better than rotating out. And oh, he leaves me corner boost. That's a big mistake. So we have a lot of pressure now because of that corner boost leave from him. And I'm not sure what the idea was there. Maybe he's trying to leave for his teammate. I'm not sure. But when you forfeit corner boost like that, it's a huge swing, right? And you'll see we start playing aggro and we get a payoff really fast. Here we go, reset. Ball goes in the corner. He's probably going to want to play his corner boost. So I'm just going to hit it hard and awkward. He could very well miss. He doesn't. But because his touch is soft, that means we have time to grab boost. Oh, totally miss it. That one's not there. This guy's trying to demo me. I don't know why. So we'll just keep turning. Like, the demo is... It's 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 nice, but the ball's not on net, right? So it's like... It's kind of like, you know, what is... I don't know. We got to get in their comms. Understand what, what, they're, what they're thinking. He's about to try you. Are you just bumping Luke? <laughs> yeah, trying to make solo, solo carry against the diamond. Get a 50 across. My teammate is back on this boost, so I need to split up the play. All right, get on going for it. Go for it. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. Well, it was a nice try. That was almost, uh, I almost ate my words. We'll be fine. Just keep turning in the midfield, you know, so that those demos don't work. And you probably can't see me here. So if I get a beat, it's a goal. I, I love doing these challenges in the corner, these drive challenges, because when you see somebody like that facing the corner, they can't see upfield at all, right? Will had no vision on me because he has no vision. Um, I have more information on my challenge. So my challenge is almost always going to win as long as I'm being wise about it. Here, he looks like he might have a touch. So we're just letting him. And once again, we're just not trying to commit here. Like we're trying to force the ball out of that position, but just not do anything crazy. That's not in. So we'll have time to control our corner boost once again. And you know, if they want a challenge here, it shouldn't lead to too much. Our, my teammate does need to push up. There we go. He does get a clear. He waits a little bit too long on the goal line. That's all right. Looks like he's challenging. So I'm just gonna low 50. Cause once again, we're not trying to commit in, in positions like these. And when, when there's no payoff, like sidewall, like jammed up against the wall there, Right against their corner. They're just not ready for a shot, I guess. You, you don't want to commit. Front flip into these kickoffs. He looks awkward, so I'm going to go again. That might just be a goal. You can see him backing up very briefly there, so that's my cue to go. It's like you just can't challenge this guy. He's, he's so quick on the responses. Looks like they're trying to control, so we just wait back. Oh, Solmer. Watch it. I was going to go there. Let's see what he does. He's kind of clearing it to the center. Oh, I did not expect expect that from a plat. I, I was expecting that ball to be dumped right at the midfield and for me to be getting scored on. But that was, I mean, wonderful play. I want to play this ball in the midfield. It looks like he might want to pass. I'm just going to fly just because I saw him going. Um, not because I really have a good touch, right? But if he's going to go, that's worth it. We can half flip challenge. He's not back yet. Pump him. Just try not to commit up here. Be all right. He gets a good 50. We can grab corner boost. Solmer's probably going to grab this, so I'll go first. Oh, he misses. We can one on one on an angle and hook shot. That'll be a goal. First touch on the angle is the key there, right? As long as you don't drive this forward. I'm looking for Solmer, Solmer to try to get a bump too, but you know, even if he doesn't, it's really tough on blue. That'll be seven. He gets a clear high. I'm going to have time to grab two pads, and I'm going to watch a shot. It's going to go high again. My teammate's probably missing. Keep watching shots. And that's a good one. We're not going to be able to save that. Cut here. We need to get a direction change going on this ball. Not a great touch to the center for me. All the way back. Solmer's kind of taking it across. Good. 
He got the boost, so we'll just play low, just keep watching shot. Play it out, control our boost, hit it over one. And s I mean, I don't think it would have affected the outcome of this game, but this has got to be the best freaking looking plat I've seen in my life. Honestly, I would be hard stuck plat if I was playing against this guy every game. Hopefully that was helpful. If it wasn't, then, you know, go comment Luke, you're a loser in the comments. I think it's still good for the algo. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see you in the next educational smurf. Peace.